Hello, back at it again with the fresh face, no makeup, horrifying situation. Um, today I wanted to show you guys how I do my eyebrows because people have asked me before, not on the channel, but like in general people have asked me and may as well. Um, I'm sure everyone does it differently or has different products, different whatever, so I will show you that and then yeah. <laughs> um, also, apologize for the state of me right now. I'm first of all, I look very tired. Second of all, I just cut my bangs, and it. The last time I cut my bangs, I messed up, and this was me trying to fix what I messed up, but then tried to grow out, and I still messed them up. So <laughs> I don't like them, but I tried my best. I'll probably just let them grow out again and then get them professionally done because I don't know what else to do. So yeah. Anyways. First thing you're gonna wanna do is get one of these doodahs, or you can use, you can, or you can use technically like a leg one for your legs or whatever. Um, just don't use that on your pits and legs and then use it on your face, cause then you're taking bacteria from like your armpits onto your face. Don't, so don't, do, don't do that. Um, but you can dedicate one of those razors for it. It just, it has a lot of surface area it's gonna cover, so you're gonna have to be very careful with how you um, go about it. If you've got bangs like me, you have to pin them back. But I mean, this is like more or less the same surface area, but this is a little bit more fine tuning I can do with this. This is more like recently I've started doing, or started shaving them with this thing instead of using like a regular razor. But get yourself a cup of water or just like do it over the sink. Or if you have like a mirror in your shower, you can probably just do it in the shower, but. Get your hair out of the way. My bangs are, I think, short enough to not be in the way here, but you're just gonna aggressively cut the hair off. And yes, there is hair. Very, very little. They, they've grown out a bit. I don't usually let them get this grown out. <laughs> I'm realizing I'm a dumbass and I just didn't put shaving cream on. But you don't really need it. It's just better if you can get shaving cream. Actually, I'm gonna try to get my eyebrow wet. Yeah, use shaving cream or use conditioner. Conditioner works literally just like shaving cream. It's just not as like foaming, I guess. You can't like see it, but um, it does help like lubricate the skin. I, I usually use conditioner when I do my eyebrows. I just forgot, so we're just not gonna do it. You kinda just scrape. It sounds nice if you can hear it. I don't know if you can. I've got bird sounds playing right now. Get the peach fuzzies right out of there. So now that's like smooth now. You shouldn't feel anything. I mean, of course, you don't have to shave your eyebrows. But, um, I do. I'm assuming that if you're looking to draw them on, you've probably shaved them off, so. If you're looking to shave them. You're thinking about it. Because, um, for the longest time, I didn't do this. I did, obviously, I wasn't born doing this, but, um, when I started doing it, it started with just shaving off the ends. And then I got further and further down until I had just the little tufts here to help guide me where to start. And then eventually I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna shave them all off. And I haven't gone back. <laughs> I think one time I let them grow out completely. Ah, my eye. I let them grow out completely. It took about a month-ish. Maybe if I had given another month and a half they would have been a little bit fuller but it takes about a month for them to come back fully this is a week of not shaving that you're seeing here so they do grow back um i'm getting i have a little bit of foundation under my eyes i'm getting all fucked up um yeah they grow back pretty quickly like you'll start feeling the stubble like in two for me it's about two days i start feeling stubble now they're nice and smooth they're, they're really nice to touch so I usually use like a, a crayon based product for like the base of the eyebrow. So I like to use Precision Brow Pencil by NYX. It has um, this little, woo, little doodah. 
just like whatever it slides out Wah. and then the other side obviously you're supposed to like fill it in fill it in with your natural brows and then like fluff them with this end but i don't use this i actually will sometimes comb out my eyelashes with it but just using this part you start your shape now when it comes to where to start I'm a bit lucky because as you can see, I have strong brow bones. You can still see where my eyebrows are supposed to be based on the shadow that's being created. It's a bit of a manly feature, but you know, I've said it before that I would make a pretty fucking good man. So I will start where I can see my shadow. Don't really know what to do if you don't have that, to be honest, I guess just kind of like mark, I would make maybe measure. Because you've got a shadow on your nose, so you can probably measure it from there where it should go out. Kind of like following the bridge of your nose out this way. So, um, obviously this is not something you're going to figure out overnight, but <laughs> i got to figure out how to make sure you see me. Okay. So I kind of just get my shape sorted. Obviously, like, this is not where my brow bone is. My brow bone is, goes there, but I'm overshooting it out of pure desire. One unfortunate thing about having a strong brow bone though is I can't really deviate from where my eyebrow bone is because it's like noticeable then. So just kind of like feel it. Just sort of quickly draw on a shape that I want. The nice thing about this product is it's like not very strong. Like I can easily wipe it off. So I don't have to get too fucky with um, removing it. I'm just kind of figure out where you want it to go. How thick you want it how long you want it. To, you can do like a bitch brow. I have done those before, but I don't think they suit my face shape, face shape, face shape very well. We're gonna do that. And if you want, like you can take foundation and clean up underneath or just take like a Q-tip and clean up underneath. I don't have any foundation on right now. Well, I have, like I said, I have some under my eyes, but not, not on my eyebrows right now. Okay, 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 okay. It's kinda pat it a little. Sometimes I can be really fast at this and sometimes not. So, there's two kinds that I like to use for, um, for drawing the hairs. Cause like, this is not complete. Um, there's NYX, I like NYX. Okay, let's just get that straight. This is soft brown. Ah, soft. Don't look at my shit nails, there's paint on my nails. Would you just show it to them, please? It won't focus. It says soft brown, because the other one I have is called ash brown. Yeah, and it's just like a little liquid pen. It's, it's, um, it is a brow, brow tint pen, so it is a brow thing. The soft brown is lighter, so it'll help with the, I didn't say the shade of this one, did I? This one's ash brown, the longer one, the cream one. So soft brown makes the hairs look obviously lighter and then ash brown's a bit darker, so it just depends. I'm gonna use, um, sorry, I'm gonna use the soft brown for this one just to show. So you kinda just, draw them out in the direction your hairs obviously grow, and then like once you get to the- I don't think you can saw that. <laughs> once you get here, they kind of poke around. So you can go the opposite direction, crisscross. Um, sometimes there's like a loose hair. Right? And this one's really, really light and soft, so it's pretty subtle. You're probably thinking, why don't you just grow out your eyebrows if you're just gonna draw them on? 
because Karen, because this is not something I do every day. Also taking care of eyebrows is fucking hard. Like I barely have any eyebrows to begin with. My eyebrows are blonde um, and they grow not really in a shape whatsoever. And then they don't grow in a very flattering way as well. Like they just, they're just very straggly and blonde and they look really bad <laughs> in my opinion. So this to me looks nicer. I don't mind putting in a little bit of work to have eyebrows. Yeah, so that's, that would be that. That's all I do. <laughs> it's literally two, two things. Um, I'll show you what I do though for like really, really, hi, oh my God, um, for really low maintenance. So what I would do, again, I wanna make sure you see. Let's say, let's say my parents are coming over because they don't know I do this yet. I don't know when they're gonna find out, but uh, let's say they come over. I will take the, the cream one with the fluffy part that I don't use and I will do the same thing that I do with the, with the pen and draw hairs. And this looks a little bit more, I would usually follow my brow bone a little closer, but um, Trying to also like match the other side. This is like a really light, really faint, almost like a no makeup type look. Wait, so that almost looks like a natural brow with no makeup on it. I'm gonna darken it up just a tiny bit. Oh, see, I went too far. Not too crazy. So that's all I would do. Turn my cl up close. It would look like that. Other side looks like that. So, um, and then I'll show you. Let's say I leave that as the base. I'll show you what the ash brown looks like for a darker, what a darker eyebrow looks like. color difference. I mean, I didn't do the same base, so I don't think it's going to come out the same. I think what I just did by doing the the fake eyebrow like that, um, I think made this end up looking like a fluffier eyebrow. <laughs> you can see it's a tiny bit darker though. So it's nice for a stronger look. And I don't go any darker than that because I am very fair skinned with light hair. Um, it's not natural to have like a super, super dark brow. Unless you're going super edgy, like I personally enjoy. And I'm actually gonna try to like, fucking, they're not even. <laughs> I'm gonna go over this one a little. Very light strokes of like, yeah. And honestly, getting them even is just like, just adding more hair is just like adding more hair strokes. You can easily like change the way they look based on, it's like you're drawing a picture, right? Probably be better if I used a Q-tip than my finger, but there. So now I've darkened them both up with fluffiness, and that's what they look like up close with my eyes. And let me pop on a little makeup for you as well. All right, and there's a little makeup thing that I threw together, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's how that would look with like makeup, I guess, so. Yeah, so I hope that was helpful for anyone and um, hopefully next time I see you, I won't have shit hair, <laughs> but yeah, okay. Bye.